Okay, Leroy Diesel, another video. We're doing uh, the piston removal this time. A uh, couple things I want to show you is uh, this is a P400, and I'm taking the uh, connecting rod bolts loose. And uh, so let me get up here a little bit. I just want to show you, for example, on the bolts, they are actually bolts that come through this way into the connecting rod instead of the head of the bolt being over here and then the nut being on this side this this uses a bolt and let me try to do this with one hand okay I got that one off I'm gonna show you on the next one because it was more dramatic what they have this first time I've seen it is um, I forget the technical name now that I'm trying to tell you guys but uh, on the rod caps they have what's known as a uh, rod cap fracturing or rod cap splitting or something like that I'm gonna put the tripod back down Okay, so let me try to get this in focus. If you see on that, I'm trying to, yeah, on the on the surface right here, I'm used to that being a machined, smooth surface, and as you can tell, on this one it's really rough and coarse and that that's on all of them and what they do is they build the connecting rod as one piece and apparently they come in here and they fracture that somehow and what that d is designed to do is where these imperfections are that exactly matches the other side of the fracture and uh, so it makes for a much stronger joint which um, kind of makes sense to me uh, if there were two flat surfaces just bolted together real smooth they could have a tendency to walk or that kind of thing but by doing this they're basically locked in so that was kind of nice to know uh, the other thing too is when you take this off you have to make absolutely sure that that uh, the rod well, I can't hardly show you here, but the, the, the cap has to go on the exact same orientation as it came off. If you had this, if it came off this way and you put it on that way, you're going to have problems because the, the surfaces don't match anymore. So don't get them mixed up. Get them marked and then make sure you or even orient them in the correct direction. So I got that off of there. I'm going to try and pop them two of these pistons for you and let's see what they look like. Whoops, I think I went the wrong way. I need to zoom out. Okay, here's one of the pistons. And it's got the coating on the skirts on both sides. It's got the uh, coating on the top of the piston. Uh, you can see that the, the rod, the connecting rod, the, lar the small end is much heavier duty than you would see on a traditional 6.5 that piston pin I'm just kinda going by memory but it seems to be a whole lot bigger and beefier than you would see on a traditional 6.5 I'm trying to this sucks it's hard to get this in the viewfinder the whole time uh, so yeah that piston pin is pretty massive uh, 
trying to think if there's anything else on here that's just that this appears to be a much more robust design uh, one thing that's definitely different on this piston is this little notch here I do not remember seeing that uh, the P400 pistons are supposed to be a different piston they are a uh, heavier duty uh, the notch here you turn it around and there's the same notch here uh, so that's about it um, I'm just going to continue taking the rest of these out and I'll report back to you guys if I run into any problems or anything that's worthy of note thanks